close till I get up. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on another video. In today's video, as you can see by the title, we are doing... What are we doing again? <laughs> we're doing a low <laughs> we're doing a low impact thicker thighs workout. So we're going to be working the glutes, the hamstrings, the quads, the adductors and abductors, and we are going to be doing it with as little impact as possible. Because I read your comments, I hear you, I see you. These workouts are for you, um, and it felt like a lot of people wanted this. So yeah. If that sounds good to you, then all you need is basically nothing. <laughs> Just a little bit of space and you don't need any equipment for this workout. I will talk you through each move, telling you how to do them with the correct technique and form and I will look after the timings. If you like this kind of video, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. Leave me a comment letting me know how you found it. And definitely check out all the other videos in the Thicker Thighs Workout series. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and join me on my Instagram, my Facebook and my blog and my Twitter. <laughs> and without further ado, let's get straight into the workout. It is very hot in here. I have the window wide open. I'm about to get very sweaty. I make no apologies. You ready? Let's go. <laughs> All right then, let's get straight into the workout. We are starting off on our hands and knees with some up and outs. Um, so yeah, just get onto your knees and hands, ready and go. So I want your knees under your hips, your hands under your shoulders. We're bringing one leg up and out. So bring the leg behind you and then out to the side. I want your knee to be at about a 90 degree angle when you do this and make sure that your core is nice and tight. I do not want you arching the back. The back should not be moving at all. We wanna isolate the movement in that one leg. So as we bring the leg behind and up, um, we are squeezing the glutes, really making sure the core stays tight. And then we bring it out to the side, again, squeezing the abductors and the glutes and rest. Then we're gonna go into the second move, um, up and pulse. Um, I want you to stay using the same leg, okay? We're working one leg at a time, really consolidating that burn, ready and go. This time we are just bringing that leg up towards the ceiling. So try and aim to start from a position where your knee, hip and shoulder are all in line. And then you're bringing your leg up above that. So it's a very small range of movement, but it is intense. Squeezing your glutes, squeezing your hamstrings. You just want to pulse um, in that position, making sure the core is nice and tight. Don't arch your lower back keeping the movement just in that leg, really extending at the hip and relax, well done. The third movement that we're gonna do, we're gonna do some abductor lifts. So again, still staying on our hands and knees, we're gonna bring the leg out to the side, ready and go. This is intense, it will burn, but form is everything. I want you to really try and maintain the integrity of the position that you are in, bringing the leg straight out to the side, trying to lift it as high as you can, touching it back to the floor, lifting it up again. This is intense, it will burn. To really try and keep your shoulders facing the floor, so don't get your upper body kind of twisting out. Again, that might be limited a little bit, depending on how flexible you are, but try not to turn your hips out to the side and um, doing really well squeezing hard and relax well done now we're gonna do those three all again but on the other leg can you feel the burn already I feel it especially in those abductor lifts they are intense but so so good ready and go on the other leg now we are doing the up and out focusing on your form trying not to be shifting too much in the upper body, core nice and tight, back in a neutral position as we work the glutes and the hamstrings, really pushing up and out, up and out, controlling the movement, getting as wide a range of movement as you can while again keeping a neutral spine and relax. I'm going to go into the up and pulse again on the same leg. So we're doing each move on the same leg and then switching on to the other one, okay? So really getting that burn in one go, ready and go. Pushing the leg up. Imagine that there's like, I don't know, you're trying to hit the ceiling with your foot. You're trying to push 
that's sealing up with your foot. Knee, hip and shoulder in a straight line, core nice and tight, squeezing the glutes, be intentional about it, you're doing really well, I know you feel the burn, that's what we're here for, we didn't come to just chill, you know, you can, you can do that later when you finish this workout, <laughs> doing really well, keep pushing up, small range of movement but very intense and relax and then back with the abductor lift focusing on keeping the integrity of that shape try not to let your hips be facing out to the side that the leg um, is lifting on ready and go so really focusing on keeping your front to the floor and not twisting stretching that leg out and lifting it up really working the inner and outer thigh here. Nice and controlled, it's intense, it's tough, but keep going. Don't worry if it's not completely at a right angle to your body. Don't worry, as in your leg is not completely at a right angle. Don't worry if you're not able to lift it too high, that's okay, that's okay. Work within your range of motion, you're still getting great results by doing this. And relax for 15 seconds. You can stretch it out if you'd like. But we're getting up onto our feet next for some narrow leg squats. Really working on that form, honing in on the quads. Ready and go. So I want your feet together and we're gonna sit back into a squat position. Just because we're doing narrow leg squats does not mean that all of our amazing squat technique that we've been developing doesn't count anymore. It definitely still counts. So I want all your weight through your heels Imagine like you can wiggle your toes, sitting back, keeping the chest up, squeezing the glutes as we come back through. So really intentionally picking the hips back up, doing really well. Don't let the knees come in front of the toes. You're sitting back as though you're sitting back onto a chair. You can try and keep the knees together for the narrow leg squats and relax. Well done. Then we're gonna go into some wide leg squats, so focusing more on the glutes and the hamstrings. But again, keeping that good technique. Technique is everything, ready and go. Sitting back, feet slightly turned out apart, so I want your feet just a little bit wider than hip width apart. You can turn your feet out to the sides. Sitting back, as though you're sitting in a chair, squeezing the glutes and the hamstrings. Can you feel the difference? Really push the hips through, bring them up and forward. Core nice and tight, chest nice and high. Feeling the burn, building those legs up. Doing really well, keep going. You got this. How many of you, by the way, feel like your technique, your squatting technique is improving with these videos? Let me know in the comments. And relax, <laughs> I would love to know. <laughs> and relax for 10, you okay? You still with me, you still got this? We're going into leg over squat, so another variation of squats because they are such a good compound move ready and go so i want you to squat back and then bring one leg up and over working on our balance and control isolating um one leg movement so i really do like to isolate each individual leg because you don't want imbalances we all tend to lean to one side a little bit more so just making sure that you're able to kind of hold that body weight on the one leg and control your movements while still keeping your technique on fleek sitting back weight through the heels intentionally contracting your muscles mind to muscle connection and relax then we're gonna finish off this workout you're nearly there not done yet but nearly there with some step back lunges ready and go step back into a lunge back to standing same leg throughout okay so we're really building that burn i don't want you over lunging okay this is not a flexibility competition okay just just work within your range of motion where you're comfortable and um, so it might be that your back leg is actually quite close to your front leg to maintain that integrity again of the spine i don't want you overarching your lower back in order to reach back further taking the weight through the heel of that front leg as you go back and stand back up. Well done. And then we are going to switch onto the other leg for some more lunges. Such a good movement. How are you feeling? You're nearly there. Last movement, you've totally got this. Ready and go. Back and back up. 
controlling the movement try not to wobble too much if you feel like you're wobbling a lot just maybe make your feet a little bit wider apart and again bring the back foot in a little bit closer you might feel a little bit of a stretch in your quads which is fine if you're feeling the stretch in your quads as you step back that's okay as long as you are keeping that core nice and tight and you're not overarching your lower back if you find that you're tempted to bring it in and well done you've done it how do you feel that was my low impact thick of thigh workout thank you so much for doing it with me and don't forget to click subscribe for new videos and make sure you check out the other workouts in this series i love you guys so much i will see you soon bye